Scottish cuisine. That's not two words you see together very often. I mean, you go all the way around the world. You see like Thai restaurants, Indian restaurants, Italian restaurants. I've never once seen a Scottish restaurant. Scottish food was horrible. It was bad. It was like boiled meat and potato and stuff that helped you go down a mine and survive in a hole for a day. I've not seen a Scottish takeaway. I've never been somewhere else in the world and went in to get mince and totties in a bag. Does Scotland have a cuisine? Yeah, I think if it is, it's just having a wee laugh at ourselves. And then you come back up and you're like, what's for tea? Boiled meat and potatoes, because you need to go back down the mine. And that was it. Scottish cuisine is some of the best cuisine in the world. I genuinely do believe that. When you go out and you eat proper Scottish food, there's literally nothing finer. But you know, there's never middle ground in Scotland. It's either fabulous or really terrible. I think people think in Scotland we roam around the highlands and just bite into live deer and all that kind of stuff. On the side, a pie on a roll, which annoys me. Oh, you're Scottish. Have you brought your haggis? And the Americans especially, oh my God, I would love to try haggis. Do you have haggis on the menu? Oh, it tastes delicious. It's quite peppery. I don't think Americans are like, oh, I'm going to Scotland. They eat a lot of salmon there, don't they? I mean, I don't ever remember before the age of 21 having venison or lobster uh, or langoustines. I mean, I love scallops, but I never had one before I was 30 years old oysters, any of that stuff. I'm sure there is a stratum of Scottish society that has this stuff for their dinner, but it wasn't us. I don't go down to the supermarket for my weekly shop and get the venison. I think there's been a shift in Scottish cuisine because of celebrity chefs, thankfully, who've given us a bit more class. We were the first nation to deep fry a Mars bar. I mean, we've done other things, haven't we? Invented television and penicillin, deep fried Mars bars. I think that's a fair contribution to the world. I think I blame Scottish food for my overindulgence because my repertoire of food growing up was so minimal. And then it was like I was thrown into, an, I don't know, a gourmet orgy. You're smelling that lovely deep fried city smell. It just makes you feel alive, doesn't it? Just like Oscar Wilde, as far as food goes, I can resist anything except temptation. That's me showing how pretentious I am. Ha, ha, ha.